Salutations, everyone. Hopefully, this has fixed the audio. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, testing. Audio, please work. That's all I ask. All right. Anyone responding? No? Yes? I can't see chat if they are responding, unfortunately. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you can hear. I can see that you can hear. All right. Take two. Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is the real Guru Matt here. That's right. I am real. I am Guru, and I'm also Matt. I'm the real Guru Matt. Not a fake Guru Matt. I'm not an imitation. The real deal. It's been a while. Good to see y'all yells. And, uh, yeah. I am looking forward to playing The Escapist 2 again. It's been a while. Hey there, Allison. I see Coop K was the first person to talk on the Twitch. But we got Desmond. We've got Minor God. We've got, it looks like, Max63. I know some people were saying that they were unfortunately unable to make the stream, but it is good to see anyone hanging around. And yes, the original guru, the OG. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are going to play some Escapist 2. We'll start off with some prisons that I have downloaded. A couple of players submitted a couple of popular prisons. And then I was thinking maybe we'd go down to... Pain Town, as it is known, and uh, try out some of the verses. I know a lot of people still have to get like their uh, achievements for the verses because not a lot of people are playing. But there are a surprisingly high number of people still making prisons and still subscribing to them and playing them. So I'm, I'm actually pretty shocked. This is an example of one that's recent that actually has some stars, I believe. This is just incredible. Bridgetown Boomberg. Uh, their best prison. It looks like it. And then you have Camp Conte 2.2. Or sorry, 2.0. I believe this was submitted by a, someone online who contacted me over Reddit. I'm also on Reddit as well. And then uh, someone said that they tried the HMP Iron Gate 2.0 and they said it was super hard. I'll bet. It's really easy to make a super hard prison. It's actually a hard to make a very balanced prison. Uh, Blood and Dunes looked interesting. And this was like a Chinese <laughs> made. <laughs> it's not Japanese because it's all in uh, kanji. or I mean, I don't know what the Chinese characters are called, but um, there's no katakana which, or, you know, anything that's not the full characters. So, you know, that's. Chinese. Ah, so if you liked H HMP Iron Gate 2, Desmond says, uh, it's a remake of the original, and he, re he recommends it. Anyway, this is fascinating to me. It says Precinct 17, so someone made this. It actually looks pretty interesting. I'm going to give it a shot. It looks like the easiest prison out of all of these that I might be able to escape from. For right now, we're going public. That's what we're going to do this whole game. We're going to play in public. I can't guarantee that I'll spend too much time on each prison because I do want to get through these. So we're going to set a timer of 10 minutes. And then we're going to roll this to see who gets put. I'm closing my eyes. I'm turning my head away. You can't see it, but believe me, it's happening. And... I am Russian Guru. It's good because I'm Russian to get out of this prison. All right. Now, it has been literal, I think, years since I've actually even opened the game. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, we don't want any of the, that in there. I wonder what we got here. Okay, I'll take some duct tape. 
All right. I probably want to get a guard uniform if I can. But let's go ahead and just explore a little bit. Oh, dude, we could just walk out if we just have a guard uniform? I'm interested to see where that goes. Alright, let's get ourselves a guard uniform. Sorry, Oko. Oh. Let's say sorry. But then he's like, I can defend myself just fine. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. I'm like, well. Uh oh. Hey, come on. There we go. Give me that uniform. Maybe that as well. Oh, someone has joined me. Uh oh. I don't want to talk. I don't want to fight you. In fact, I would rather not. All right, we're gonna ring around the rosy a little bit. Okay, this is not around the rosy as much as I'd hoped for. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna lose this. No. Aha! Beat me up, oh! I see if I care. I managed to save my uniform. Allison asks, how am I? I am actually doing pretty good. Recently moved. Been doing well with my health lately. I'm finally getting back into a place where I feel like I might be able to stream on a regular basis, so... That's exciting. Alright, that's a good enough health for moi. And I am curious to see if I can just walk outside with my guard uniform on. Now a lot of this is me forgetting and trying to remember how to do anything. So. Ha. Huh. Aww. Well. I mean, let's look at the map. How do I look at the map again? There we go. So it looks like as long as we get through these... We should be able to exit just fine. Got the doggos over there. I like how he has like a... Camera just sitting right here staring at that particular door. There are no green keys in multiplayer. Or at least online I should say. There are literally zero, so uh, putting any green doors on the map is a guaranteed. Well, too bad for you. Although this is an interesting little spot. You could go through the wall, go through the that over there and drop down maybe. And then, well, I can't even say that's actually a good idea though because it doesn't look like you can get outside that way. This looks like a wall system with that. Might be a way to just go through the fence over there. Miner says, Miner God says, I need a car. Which is an escape. Oh, looks like some people were not in their place or didn't check in. So, yeah, we need cars around. Mustache says, to be honest, I've played so much of these games to myself. Merely booting up the main menu on the PC makes me feel fatigued. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get that with some games. It's definitely a feeling. Alright, let's go ahead and look around here. Let's see if we can't... I mean, a broom is not a bad weapon. Definitely willing to have that on hand. It's no bleach, that's for sure. Oh, this is Oliver's desk. Sorry, Oliver. Sorry. I didn't mean it. Forgive me. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. If we get a cyan key, we could just use the uniform to go out. I might end up doing that. Although we only have 10 minutes, so I'm still looking around to see if we couldn't get anything. I didn't go through many desks. Um, that's Pip. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so let's see. Pip's desk. 
Nothing. It's probably picked clean by this point. I think we had the other two people come in here and... Ooh, some bleach! I mean, I'll take the bleach. I'll even put it down there so no one can grab it from me. My bleach now! Alright, so I have one file. We could use two files to get through a single set of... Um... A single set of these things, which is a fence. <laughs> Use your words, Matt. So we can get through a fence if we get one more file. Uh, it looks like the only way we're going to be getting that file is by maybe doing some odd jobs and maybe buying one ourselves. I don't see anyone sharing. So let's see if we can find someone to give us a job. It looks like they are all been taken. I was a little too slow on the draw there. I don't know why he's got the plastic cutlery, but more power to him. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Hey. What do you want from me? Yeah, fight me. I dare you. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to make you fight in front of the guard. I'm like, no, you're not. Alright, it's free time again. So now am I not only trying to escape this prison, I'm trying to get away from these these guys blocking me from escaping the prison. Alright. I mean... Sure. Damage was found. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well... There goes the neighborhood. It appears we are in a bit of a quandary. All right, time to peel some potatoes. Ah, this is nostalgic. <laughs> it's second lockdown. First lockdown wasn't strong enough. We needed second lockdown. All right, let's get ourselves into... Hey, oops. Did I go in the right room? Yeah, this is my... That's my bed, dude. Get off my bed. Yeesh. Wonder what was up with that dude. <laughs> Minor God uh, says that he likes potatoes. Not a bad position. Potatoes are pretty good. Now it's like, oh no, the perpetual never gonna get out of here because people keep saying, or keep, people keep messing up with all the uh, damage to things. So it's like, well, one day we'll leave, maybe. There, I delivered soap. I got punched, but I delivered soap. Are there actually any jobs here? Nope. <laughs> the only thing you can do is sit here and get paid. Max said that he was bored, so he made a cover of a song from this game. Oh, that's pretty cool, dude. Alright. So we are at... Oh, this is cute. Aw, oh, the little doggo's name is Texas. I guess he's going through my desk. No, no. No, you are not, sir. Alright, so I don't actually need the length of rope, I don't think. Definitely don't need the screwdriver. I'm not going through the vents, am I? I mean, I guess there are places. Uh-oh. Looks like 10 minutes is up. I'll give it like one last go. See if I can't find anything to buy. If I could get myself a, uh, like one singular file, I will get myself out of here. But if I can't, it's game over. 
Come here. Come here. You stop making me take a shower, Parker. Ah, uh, looks like it's game over. Wah, wah, wah. Although the crowbar is actually... You know what? I'll try a crowbar. Okay, look, Rennie. I'm, I'm like, I just don't want to deal with you stealing my crowbar, dude. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to do... Well, we've had a couple of people come and join and leave. That's okay. All right. I do want to give this like best effort, so we're going to craft ourselves a uniform. And because this prison is nice, it let me do that without having to study anything. So that was very kind of it. All right. Now, do I have a singular place that I can just... Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Alright, now we actually have a chance. Maybe. Okay, Doggo, don't want to be near. Although, if we uh, roll call and uh, no one sh someone doesn't check in... Oh, no, silly me. I was so prepared if someone not checking in that I forgot. Maybe I should wait out the door. And I can't, like, leave, can I, huh? Ah, oh well. Good prison. I liked it. It was small. I probably could have escaped if I had given myself a little more time. But ten minutes was up. Okay. Precinct 17. Not bad. Nice little prison. <laughs> now, if we want to go to a little bit harder, we could go to the Dungeons of Kazad Doom. Kazadum. Whatever. Once upon a time, dwarves mined here for Mithril. 40,000 feet underground, a lone orc found out that the empty veins can be turned into a dungeon. So he did. He turned it into a dungeon. What are the odds? Hey there, Allison. It's midnight for you. Wow. It's pretty late. Insider tip. You need three keys. The exit is found on the lower level. Oh, no. I don't want to deal with this. Let's try something else. I would rather... This was... This was suggested by someone. I'll give it a shot. They built it. Oh, play mode public yet again. And we'll give it the 10 minute look see. All right, round and round she goes. Which guru? Nobody knows. The Robin Hood guru, apparently. All right. Don't actually care about the nails, so they can stay. Roll call in the middle of the night. I already don't like this prison. Although there are a lot of people, there are also a lot of detectors. Ooh, ooh. Ouch. Okay, goal is to see if we can't get a delivery driver. Nope. They already hate me, so... Delivery driver... Come on! Doobie doobie doo! Why am I getting delivery driver? It is the easiest quest to do, especially a roll call. All right, we'll just flood someone's toilet, I guess. I mean, why not? Easy to do, easy money. And who's this? It's it's our good friend Renee from last game. <laughs> All right, well, oh, that's right. If you are not in a guard uniform and there's a camera, 
They spy on you and care that you're there. Oh. How nostalgic. And I, that also means it's more difficult if I want to beat someone up. Alright, let's go ahead and grab these things and... Uh, I can just use the nails, I guess. Oh no, I can't use the nails because there's like metal detectors everywhere, huh? Alright, it's job time. I got book in hand. Ah! No! I need to get over this way. Although, where is this way is a very good question. Maybe I should actually look at the map. Nah. Okay. So we are on the second floor. There's actually a pretty robust vent system. That of course has a little bit of uh, impediments. And then... Huh. Okay. If this was meant to be a thing you can pass, no. You cannot pass green doors. I mean, I, that's not something that's easily well known. Like, that's that's something that, like, you'd actually have to find out on yourself, on your own, if you're wanting to do these prisons. And then you're like, let's make green doors just by themselves. And you're like, unfortunately, there's no green keys here. Ever. All right. So what we do is we do the exact same thing we do for the prison in space where all the cameras are. You set the desks in front of the room and therefore when you try to access them they won't trip the cameras. Now, big issue, ah, other than me getting all the guards mad at me, okay, I got it, take me, big issue is all of these detectors are a big problem, unless I do all of that within my own cell system back here, um, getting anything past the detectors are going to be an issue. Desmond says, use a cutter? I mean, yeah, you can. But yeah, the contraband detector spam, it's it's not a great... It's not a great answer to making a prison more challenging, I guess I could say. If you have a detector, then yeah, sure. That's an in if like Especially in a location that's critical, that you have to think around. Uh, you should have options. There shouldn't be, if you go this way you're going to be having a bad time. It should be, you can go this way or you can go over here and also make sure that things are okay. But it maybe it'll take more time. Or maybe it'll be a detector right before a critical part of the escape. I don't know. Alright, how are my stats? Abysmal. So if I want to craft anything, I better go ahead and get myself, like, smart. But I don't even see a bookcase anywhere. Where are the books? Did I miss them? Am I just not smart enough for books? They can go through the cell with a crowbar and drop the to the boat. Oh, that does seem legit. Oh, and you can go through this. Though there's a vent somewhere, and you can use like some cutters through the vent system. I'm guessing you're saying. Oh, there's also uh, it looks like a helicopter on the roof. 
Oh, and it's like a helicopter you looks like you can get to through the showers? I mean... The issue, of course, with vent systems is just getting into the vents is difficult. And I don't actually see an exit up here. Although I don't know that you would see one. You should be able to see it if there was an exit. Because, yeah, it's on this floor. If there was an actual exit, it would be up there. I don't actually see it going anywhere. Anyway. Let's see where we go. Uh-oh. Renee's starting to trap. Okay, I thought I was going to be attacked right there, but apparently they're letting bygones be bygones, which I do appreciate. Alright, we're not getting through there anytime soon. Okay, so let's look up above. We got the suggestion to maybe just go through one of the cells, which isn't a bad idea, I don't think. Except, I don't think we can drop down from up here, because that's covered in fencing. Hmm. Do, do, do. Are there any other boats? So we got a boat there. We have something over here, maybe. We'll go over here to check it out, either by the construction or the uh, the gym or the food hall. Why not call it a cafeteria? Anyway. No. No. Any Anything that involves us trying to go and find contraband is just like, no way, Jose. Alright. Anything out here? No, but if we had a grappling hook... Ah, see, I love grappling hooks, but that looks like it's the only spot to grapple up. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, if I were to play this longer, obviously I would need, like, a lot more. Like, I would need contraband pouches. I would need uh, a lot of stuff to get through walls uh, and then get through the stuff up above. This it looks like we could get out through my cell and then wander around this way, maybe. I would have to block off the camera in my room of course but that looked doable however my timer is up and I feel like yeah that's a pretty decent amount of time set for this one interesting map a little bit heavy on the um, metal detectors wouldn't recommend that but at least two exits that I saw, or I presume I didn't actually get eyes on the helicopter per se, but I presume it's on the roof. Um, I'm usually a fan of this, but the door over here was a green door, so you couldn't get a key for it. Like, docked points for that as well. But I can't really dock too much because I probably didn't know that about the prison editor. They will fix later? Okay. And then Mr. said, I think the map that handled Contra detects the best is Jungle Compound from the, the Escapist 1, which is funny. It only contains one, yet it's used so cleverly. I can't help but admire its implementation. And the Miner God's like, I want to see you escape. I'm like, dude, this isn't that kind of stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm wanting to actually get through all these prisons before I quit. Alright, you know what? Let's check out the Chinese map. <laughs> the Imperial map, as they are known. <laughs> I got it, though. Like, that's the whole point why I downloaded it. Is I was like, what kind of map is made by 
Someone who names it Imperial. Alright. Just never quit. Just keep playing forever until I've escaped. Yeah, because that'll go over well. Alright. Looks like I get to be from space. Oh, this is... Wow. I must be like a political um, prisoner because that's being treated very nice because, man, these are some of the nicest cells I've ever seen. All right, Charlie. Nope. Okay, look. All I want is delivery driver. Can any of you give me that quest? There we go. <laughs> it's like, finally. I've always, like, it's always great to get. Sometimes really annoying to just try and get. Alright, what's great? We got 75 right off the bat. I'm pretty happy with our little chunk of change. Let's go around and see about this prison. I think this is like one of the first... Well, it can't be the first, but it's one of the few prisons I've seen where it was like... We're legitimately trying to make this look like a prison. Just not like a madhouse, an actual prison. They even have like a little back room area for the guards to traverse. That's cool. Less cool this guy just running around and attacking me. But the guards will take care of him for me. Alright, let's see. No default rooms is already a big... Yeah, a big plus. Looks like they actually took the time to make all the rooms unique. Um, this is just a cool... All the way over here is the medical area. And then... Looks like a trash zone. <laughs> oh wow what in the what in tarnation is this this looks like one of those situations where you're supposed to get through everything but uh, there are several of those doors that are impassable I think maybe it's kind of part of the lore of the prison I don't want to ascribe anything that the creator didn't intend but I'm going to start ascribing things the creator didn't intend so as part of the lore of this prison, I'm going to just say that this is the entryway and it's like super max security. There's a helicopter over there? Really? Or is that just where the helipad would be? Oh, it's just a helipad. It's like super max, but super nice. So yeah, I think political prisoner was my, it was a correct assumption there. There's so many good doors where it's like, you just need a uniform. That's pretty rare. I wonder if I can get a uniform and then hide. Ah, oh, I don't see one. I'm gonna have to just go get a uniform and then come all the way back. But see, this is good planning where it's like, actually just takes you time to do stuff. Doom, doom, doom. Now watch, I'll get way all the way over here. It'll be like something way down there. Oh, no, okay, roll call. I wonder how often they have roll call on here. I wish you could look at the schedule. But I suppose it's part and parcel of these maps. It's like... You never know. Alright, so if you haven't seen this trick, this is intellect cancelling, which I'm not doing great. Basically, you, your goal is to save energy. And if you do it well enough, you can save enough energy to get you pretty high up on the intellect side of things. 
because you only need to like stay in here as long as it takes you to um, bump up your energy. If you just wait, this little bar slowly goes back down. And it's like wasted time. Uh oh. Someone caused a lockdown. And then I didn't notice this earlier, but each of these rooms have like a medical device. So like, are we all like sick? Oh, dude, I haven't seen this in for, I don't think I've ever seen someone do this. Just a single bar window in the middle of a room. Oh, that's cool. Hey there, Snivy. Yeah, and it does look like one of the harder default schedules with more lockdowns and all that jazz. So how many people do we have in here? We've got Harvey the Rabbit. We've got Rit Grun. Just those two. Maybe they do tests on us? I mean, maybe. I can't say they don't. The medical equipment is just monitoring the super serum that they've given us. That's why the prison is locked up so tightly. It's not to keep people from escaping. It's to keep people safe from themselves. Yeah, no, pretty nice little prisons. Hey there, not Zeno or not Zin or not Zeno two, whichever you prefer. The sky happens to be up, and I'm sorry you're not feeling the greatest, Snivy. Hope you feel better soon. All right, let's get ourselves some rest. Because rest is important, everyone. Make sure that you get plenty of it. Alright, I do need a guard uniform. So what we're going to be doing is... Officer McCarthy, I'm sorry. But I need your uniform. So if you see a guard charging up on you, just step back. Just let him charge away and then you step away and then you can step in later and be like ha 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 that charge was for naught and then of course the quickest way to get rid of heat is to let yourself get beat up don't let yourself get beat up in real life unless it's a strategic value to you <laughs> just not zen okay Let's see, Coop K says they honestly stop putting their prisons on hard after a while because it's just wasting the player's time, really. And then Snivy just felt really bad all of a sudden, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Like, it's always a bummer to feel bad, but then it's like, I want you to feel good. I think everyone wants everyone else. Well, I can't say that. A lot of people want other people to feel good. <laughs> I can't guarantee that everyone wants everyone to feel good, but I'm one of those people that appreciate appreciates it when people are not feeling terrible. Alright, so I do have a guard uniform, which is one of the things that I've been trying to get a little bit. Yep, it was roll call. I don't want to try and do anything just yet while roll call is going on, because I never know if I'm going to be having someone in my team miss roll call and if they do well I'm uh, not gonna have a good time however I will try to do another delivery driver if I can manage it I don't know if I will there we go let's see who else nope not Bobby not Jules. 
Not chance. Who's? I never actually look at the name. I just look at the map. So who is it? It doesn't even say. Lulz. Okay, Lulz. Where are you, Lulz? You're this person. All right, it's dinner, and then we're gonna put on a uniform, and then skadoosh, skedaddle. Actually, I can just go ahead and put it on now. Now that I'm thinking about it, I mean I shouldn't miss it. Hopefully, but even if I did, it would only be a little bit of time. There we go. I'm one of you. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that contraband detectors do not detect uniforms while you're wearing them. They detect them while you're carrying them for some reason, but as long as they're on you, they're like, hmm, definitely not contraband. He's obviously a police officer in his uniform trying to carry out his duties. Hehe, <laughs> we should duty. Okay, it is job time. Someone did miss the routine. And I'm not against making money, but I'm on a schedule. Let's see what we can find. So, this is interesting. What do we got in here? Oh, band desk. It's got lots of contraband that I won't be able to use. Although, I should just get rid of this so that we can get new contraband that's better. So I'm just gonna like start throwing this on the ground. Or something, I don't know. I can't take it with me. Or can I? <laughs> oh. There we go. Perfectly fine. Just ignore that. And this is actually interesting. If we set up the guards to send us... Like, if we set up the guards and send contraband to the contraband desk, it actually puts it in a position we can then use it to facilitate our escape. I'm actually kind of impressed. That's a really... I don't know if the creator of the map intended that, but that's actually a really good idea. And even in my uniform, I don't think I want to get hit by the spotlight. So we are going to try and avoid that and just keep looking around. Seeing we are definitely covered with water everywhere. Well, I guess since it isn't technically... Lights out, the spotlights don't do anything just yet. All right. They, yeah, they just don't want you walking around in the buff. It's the same deal with the prisoners carrying contraband through a detector. And it's extremely chill, but as soon as you, the player, goes through with contraband, the detectors are like, whoa, buddy. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, maybe they have a pouch that they're hiding all of that in. Who knows? Haha! -ha, you can't follow me! <laughs> oh, that was great. Let's see if we. Ooh, some cutters! I don't mind if I do! Oh, a plastic red key! Wow, these are the best desks. Easy to access, too. Yeah, thank you. I got... I got... I made out like a champion right there. Thank you, thank you. Alright, shower time. Uh, I forgot how to shower. Where do I go? No. 
No, do I? This way. It's first I sweat in the gym. And then... Ah, uh, made it to the showers. Excellent. I need, like, some sort of contraband pouch. Oh my goodness gracious, roll call yet again. Are there lights out for this prison? Or is it just, like, roll call incest and then work all day, every day? That is a good question. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yoink. <laughs> Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Alright, well, I mean, you probably could catch me, but I ran away. Now, here's a question. If we had a cyan key, which we can get, and we do have the red plastic key, can we just leave? I mean... Maybe we'd need a uniform, it looks like, but it's possible. Okay, please don't get me trapped. I think we can do it. I just need a cyan key and then some... A contraband detector, or a pa contraband pouch. And we should be able to escape. As long as I'm wearing a guard uniform. So yeah, we're going to try that. Desmond says there's a one minute delay. I don't know if he means between Twitch and YouTube, but one of those things has a one minute delay. Okay, who is not in their bed? Harvey. Unfortunately, if Harvey doesn't, uh, or I guess Renee doesn't uh, cooperate, we're going to have to kick him out. I'm kind of interested in getting this escape done. I think we can do it. I mean, we're not going to have to break through any walls, I don't think. Which is nice for a change. Uh, unless we decide we want to break through a wall in order to get outside. Which looks doable. Yeah. All right. We checked in. Yeah, this is why you don't fight in front of the guards, my dude. And he's gone. All right, so let's see what we can shop for. Uh, actually, if we can just give this guy enough gold to like me. Dude, I'm totally your fan. And then we get a contraband pouch. Yeah. Then I kind of need enough for a cyan key. Oh, I could get another one. No. I just need the one. I don't need more than one. Don't get greedy. I don't need the foil. Okay. Then we just want to make notes of the contraband. So... Or the contraband detectors, I should say. Because I think each of them drop us down by 20%. So that's one or two. Because sometimes those things will actually knock you down for two. Then we might be able to actually use the cyan key to get outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'd only need the detector once. Get outside with the cyan key. And then meander our way to freedom. Okay, okay. So next step is trying to find things to get a cyan key. Actually, maybe I could just find one in here. Why, hello there. Fellow guard. No. I'll take 
I'll take a red plastic key. <laughs> sure, why not? Just in case. And the lighter is something I'll need. And the cookie is just delicious. Om nom nom nom. Alright, what do we need? Oh, I don't want to cause a scene. I don't fight for you. Alright. Is there anything useful I can use this key for around here? Because I do have an extra. Let's go ahead and put the lighter in there. Actually, I might as well... I gotta go look around for some more resources, so... Let's see if anyone has what I need. One Take Jake says, awesome stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I am just doing my best with what I have. And we're trying to build ourselves a cyan key. So I actually think I need... I need 60 intellect. Ah, I'm pretty far from that, but... I might as well at least get the resources necessary. Which are not found in any of these desks so far. Maybe I can find some more in the guard desk. Although I think... I don't think the guard desks actually have cyan keys. I think they have red, but not cyan. There's another set of lightweight cutters, though. I mean, it's such a shame I, I don't actually need them. Oh dear, it's roll call. Whew, I'm just glad roll call doesn't require me to have a, uh... A whatchamacallit, a thingy dealy. I don't have to go through a metal detector. <laughs> there we go. You know, words are hard. Can I... Upgrade these. I'm not smart enough. Actually, I don't even think you can upgrade. <laughs> I'm not smart enough because you can't use two of these to upgrade one of those. You have to... <laughs> you have to use a nail file, you silly goose. Ah. Ooh, someone stole a uniform. Oh no, my desk is going to be searched! Ah! Nope. 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 Everything is perfectly fine, officer. Yeah, go ahead. Search that. I, I totally searched it a moment ago. You don't need to search. You know what? Fine. I'm going to say you don't need to search it because I already made sure nothing was in there. Yeah. Whew. That's always scary when your desk is the one being searched. Bearman asks, where have you been? I have been away and uh, various life issues cropping up here and there. Then uh, not really having a good setup to stream. It's only very recent that I was able to get everything kind of mostly okay. It's still not 100%, but I figure... Oops, I missed lunch. That's me. I figure it's better to start streaming again and get used to it and get in the groove than make sure everything's absolutely perfect. I mean, I played that game for a while there where I was like, I can't stream unless it's perfect. And then it's like, well, yeah, you can. You really can. Just do it. And so I am. Yeah, you're right, Snivy. I was I was thinking about that, and I was like, that's probably correct. Where you guards cannot actually spawn anything, at least guard desks, I should say, can't spawn anything but the cyan keys. Although now that I actually have, I have foil. I have a contraband pouch. I have duct tape, and I am smart enough. Gosh darn it! <laughs> what? 
What? I need 70? I'm not smart enough. No. Oh. Like, just shock and sadness. Well, let's make me smart. Yeah, I do need to read more. You're correct. Hey there, Dior. I hope you're having a good day today. Alright, so with the book trick, uh, if you're on a keyboard, you press down to jump out. And then, uh, then you press E to jump back in. And then you hold it just as long as you get the little bing and your intellect goes up. And then you jump out. And then you jump right back in. It uses a significantly less amount of energy. Alright. Okay. Oh, no, you cannot make your contraband pouch better. What in the Sam Hill? Someone is running by the contraband detectors. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Alright, roll of duct tape is good. I'll t take the bleach. I... It... It sticks in my craw that's like, technically, you don't need bleach. And I'm like, yeah, but it's bleach. Why wouldn't I take it? Actually, I would rather walk around with bleach than the, uh, than the weapon because it will actually trigger the contraband. The weapon will actually trigger the contraband uh, detector, but the bleach will not. So it's like, bleach is superior in every way. All right, maybe I can get something else from someone, like a wad of sticky putty. No, okay, maybe you, but Ashley, if you're still here in chat, Ashley, send me your energy. Oh, uh, no, that didn't work. Okay, I don't want to cause a distraction. Sure, the wet bandit. That's like easy money right there. I really hope everyone hit roll call, otherwise it's gonna get a little awkward. Oh good. I was holding my breath. I don't know if you guys heard me get... Well, I guess you didn't hear me get quiet, but I definitely got really quiet. <laughs> and then GR says, How do you do the book trick? Please teach us, Guru Matt. I think I just did teach you a little bit ago. Oops, I went the wrong way. But I'm so close to escaping. I just need to get the correct items and then I'll be good. Okay, that is an it. That is an it. Neither of these are it. Arg. Maybe one of the quests will actually spawn it. No. 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 Come here. Come here, you. Hey, stop it. What did I ever do to you except make you very annoyed? There you go. Have fun with him. <laughs> yeah, the bleach and the mop are two of the different items. I think the broom handle is actually a pretty decent one too, but um, like you need some sort of reach. Like none of the weapons that I found that were within like short range was very satisfying, or even they didn't even really do that well. So, all right. I need to see if I can't find myself anything useful for my escape. Okay, I did check these desks. 
I still need to get a lot of resources in that I need a comb of some sort. Oh yeah, the dogs are right over there. Yep. Anyway, I need a comb of some sort or a toothbrush, I believe. I also need uh, some putty, which I need to make, and I haven't found any resources for that. Okay, this is Big Boss. Sorry, Big Boss, I didn't mean to check your desk. It's your desk. Okay. We should teach those lot a lesson. What kind of lesson, though, sir? Alright, it's getting more and more difficult to find anything because I think everyone is scrounging for items. I mean, but that's like the nature of the beast. If you're not actually talking with the people in game with you, you're all just doing your own thing. Alright, I'm going to miss exercise time on purpose. I am still looking around for items. I even didn't even grab that red key. Uh, I should have grabbed the cookie though. Alright, let's see what we got. Absolutely nothing. Come to Papa. Like, is that a category that just doesn't spawn? I haven't even seen it for sale in the shop. I mean, usually you sometimes get like a wad of putty occasionally. Okay, it is shower time. And we're getting a little bit different music. Level 3, baby. Something I don't often hear, but when I do, it's a pleasure. Alright, what about you? Nope. Give me the putty! Hey, honestly, if I don't get the silver, the uh, the putty, I really, uh, this is a non-starter. I mean, technically, in theory, I could just grab the gun, the like the key and run, but not for that distance. Okay, it's roll call all the way from the showers. Let's get back up there because we got to check in. I mean, hopefully tomorrow, whenever the desks roll around and respawn, we'll get something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm already smart enough. I don't really need that. Did I actually check this other desk over here? I don't think I did. I did not! Okay. Now the trick is, you don't need to make it into Multiplastic right away. You can do that on your own time. Okay, it is lights out though. And we do have confirmation they do have a lights out, even if it's just for like an hour. But it starts at midnight. And where is everyone? We got one person in bed. And that was the only person. Yeah. Well, he's in his room. I can't say he's in bed. Desmond says, how about the buried Alice trick? <laughs> well, that's a that's like two levels above the book trick. I don't know if I can explain that too well over the stream. Alright, so uh, we're definitely going to just play this until we get out. Dude, just go to bed. 
I will kick and make this private if I have to. You know what? I might as well. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I want to escape. Apologies. All right. Let's see if we can't get a water putty in here somewhere. And mostly I want to escape just so that we can get on to the next thing, which is I will be playing multiplayer online against people, seeing if we can get anyone. Probably just people in chat, but we'll be playing multiplayer. Sniper was like, uh, that was like on the frame I went to bed, darn. <laughs> And people are asking, what's the buried Alice trick? Well, I mean, that's something you kind of got to discover for yourself. It's it's something inherent that's, like, individual to each person. It's also something I just made up. Well, actually, something... I take that back. It was something that uh, Desmond made up. <laughs> and I just got to roll with it because it sounded fun. <laughs> But now it already has a backstory and lore. It is individual to each person. Alright. I cannot find Silly Putty to save my life. And someone is really interested in those prawns. Anyway. We'll get here eventually. We'll find the exit. I mean, we found the exit, we'll find a way to the exit. I'm willing to check guard desks. Maybe they have putty in their desks. I don't think they do. But, you know, hope springs eternal. Ah. I don't need the toothbrush or the lightweight cutters. What about you? Do you have putty? Ashley, what you betray me? Hayden, buddy! Bremen says it's my 19th birthday Sunday, which is this Easter. Oh, congratulations! Happy 19th. Happy leveling up to 19 years old. This Easter Sunday, no less. Pretty neat. Finally! A tub of toothpaste. And then we need talcum powder. Yeesh. See, like, I didn't remember that making putty needed toothpaste specifically. I did knee jerk reaction into going, yes, thank you. I finally found you. Because I've had to search for that stuff for so long. It's like. Second hand now. Alright. Uh, we're not too worried about losing the guard uniform because we can always get another. But in case we want to get one right now. Yes, I know. Uh, I think there might be a guard uniform in one of these desks. So I'd rather have one on hand before we get started than one after. Oh! Bearman's asking when's my birthday? My birthday is... May 14th. So. Ah. I might lose both my uniforms, but there we go. Oh, and he had the cyan key. Okay. I did it. <laughs> oh, that that was tense. I was like, "Oh, what's that? Opportunity? Are you knocking on my door?" I believe you are. Take care, Bax. I hope you have a good night's sleep and good luck on your school tomorrow. 
And then Mustache asks, are there any favors that give out putty? No, but I think there are some favors that give out toothpaste and talcum powder. And I think you can buy putty, but I couldn't find anyone selling. So I guess that's a moot point at that point. Anyway, I believe we have everything necessary for our escape. So we will go ahead and get that sorted out. Ah, wrong way. We'll go ahead and just check in. That's step one, making sure that they're not too suspicious. Water Petty is sold, but a more rare sell. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. All right, so we have all of this, and we get this, then we get this, and then we wear this, we drop this here for no good reason, and then I have my uh, tub of bleach <laughs> for like safety concerns. You know what? Just in case we need it, lightweight cutters, because maybe we'll need it, maybe we won't. Alright, so here we go, guys. Wish me luck. YOLO! Actually, don't, don't YOLO, that's just not, not a good idea. Okay, gotta stay very north of these doors, so I don't actually trip one, because I don't want them tripped. But I do want to leave, and I hope the next hour is not roll call. Oh, maybe I... Do I have enough to go back? Yeah, I do. It's like, just power this down. Why not? And that doesn't go anywhere. No, it just goes right to there. Yeah, just, just follow, follow the way you know you're supposed to go. You know, that just goes to the... That's cool! They have little paths to the guard towers, like you would normally need in a real prison. And then we're up here. And we're here. And then we're escaped. Oh yeah. Very nice. Mustache says, finally my uni lecture is over. I can properly engage with the stream. <laughs> well, I mean, good. I hope that you got something out of your lecture. All right. So we managed to break out of the Imperial Prison. One of the more true to life constructed prisons I've seen. Where it actually just looked like a legitimate prison. It was. It made sense. It was structured well. I really liked the p political prisoner vibe it gave. Because everyone had some pretty swanky rooms. I would. You know what? I recommend it. It's, it's a neat little prison. Or at least. I would recommend you like check it out. Just to see what how it was made. And maybe get some ideas. Uh, there's the dungeons, there's another prison. This is another day. That's like a full escapist, like, expose. But now, we are going to play some verses. We're going to public this. Three people are already online. I apparently just joined them. The one game that was currently open and playing. Wow. Wow. I'm actually kind of shocked. Alright, we'll just Guru Mat it up. And then uh, get some Nunchucks. For self defense. <laughs> okay. And then maybe. Yeah, we'll get some rations just for food. Alright, I wonder if we are actually going to be able to escape. Like, I'm kind of wary of everyone else. This is actually one of the harder prisons to escape on multiplayer.
Oof. Here, I'll help. And that's why you... Oh, someone escaped! Nice! Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Snipey was like, my condolences, man, you got that map. I mean, yeah, it's the worst map, I think. Well, it's about as bad as I think HMP Offshore. HMP Offshore is definitely not good for multiplayer. Very, very difficult. Oh, we are in space! Okay. I think I can get through with just this. Alright. Apparently no one else knows the trick. Oh, I need a... That's right, I need a uniform. That's what it was. I was like, there was one thing I'm missing. I need a uniform. Where's a guard when I need one to beat up? Yikes. Come on. Here you are. Come on. Come on. All right, lag. Oh, I lagged out. Bummer. And yeah, HMP Offshore and TF and the Tundra, both are the worst prisons, I think, for multiplayer. I agree with you. I would like to blame whoever is host for the lag. This is not my fault. I would have been perfectly timed with my swing if only there was no lag. And of course he comes back full health. Meanwhile, poor little me. It's like, no. No health for you, good sir. Whatever, I didn't need health. I just be fine on my own. Okay, what about you? Can you get me anything good? You can give me a red key mold. Mmm, okay. You know what? That's actually pretty good. If I can get myself a... I think we started off with enough intellect to... Yep, craft everything. So I think if, as long as I can get myself a lighter and whatnot, I should be good to go. Like, I don't have a lighter, I don't have a comb. <laughs> okay, there's a toothbrush. What else we got? Come on, lighter. Yeah! Oh, that was a comb too! Or, no, I, I have the toothbrush. Okay, so we... Okay, come on. Use it. There we go. Do we have anything to fight with? We have a comb shiv. It's not really great, but it's better than nothing. Uh, okay. Okay, we're able to get his uniform, which is what we needed. And then we're going to stash it away, get ourselves knocked out, come back, and I think we'll be good. Alright, I think we got the escape. 
Provided someone else didn't get before me. Oh, come on! You decided to take me to a different hospital? I was right at one nearby. You know what? Fine. I'm not even waiting till I'm feeling better. I'm just gonna leave right away. Broken arm and all. Okay. So, I'm gonna get myself... My items, and then jet. Like, vamoose. How do I do that? Well, first, I need to go get my jet pack. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I don't need that anymore. I am one of you! Now, normally, you would actually go through here to get at this desk. And then you'd beat up one of these guards for the red key. Because we need the jet pack. And I might as well take that with me, just in case I need to defend myself. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go! Ha ha ha, sucker! He doesn't know he's about to lose. Oh wait, someone else is winning! I'm gonna lose! Just kidding. No! I forgot what the jackpot was! I was supposed to wear the jetpack! <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to wear the jetpack. Aww. It's been too long since I've played. Oh well. Them's the breaks. Let's see if I can find whose desk. Maybe I can get... Ooh, that's pretty. I'll take Bleach. Well. Obviously that was not ideal. Um, I can make myself a plastic key mold and all that jazz. Normally, though, I just grab it and run. Hello, good sir. No, 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 don't want, don't want. Aw, he got me good. I was hoping to get away with the molten plastic at least. Oh well. Alright. Um, yeah. So does anyone in chat actually need this escape for their achievement? Or I mean not this escape. Uh, need to win versus for their achievement? Anyone? Anyone? I'll give it a minute. Alright, Payton. Sure. Honestly, if I, if I could find another red key mold, that would be ideal. But, understandably difficult. Onyx says that they just joined and they are confused. Welcome to the Escapist 2. Where you're in prison. A lot. Ooh, a cake. I ate a cake. <laughs> yep. 
I was ready to escape, but uh, like so many criminals, I failed due to my own hubris. Shucks. Ah, well, c'est la vie. Such is life. Alright. Actually, the tub of talcum powder might be what I need, or at least part of what I need. Or I already had. Never mind. But I could probably use the contraband pouch this time around so that I'm not alerting anyone. Okay. So there is no... Okay, he has the red key. If I can just... Uh-oh. Okay, this is pretty dicey. Okay. If I can get over here fast enough... And then, come on, put it back on. Whew! Okay. <laughs> oh, I should have stole his uniform while I had the chance. I did not. Alright. Let's see if I can grab this uniform over here. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can either wait for this to naturally die down or just get myself beat up. Okay, just beat me up, sir. Thank you. Damage has been found. Uh oh. Medic is deployed, though. Yes, that's what I need. Onyx says, I have only played Escapist 1, and that is on the PS4. Well, welcome to the Escapist 2. It is a different beast entirely. A lot more... Or I should say, a lot less forgiving. Is a better description. Uh, there is a little bit of leeway when it comes to escaping. Um, nowadays, because they allow you to actually save the game. Whereas before they did not. So uh, at this point, it's pretty easy to get the escapes done, or at least easier than it used to be. Ooh, I could get an electric sword if I wanted. Uh, but uh, this is a mode called Versus, where you actually try to escape instead of your fellows. Okay, this is take two. Let's see if I can get this done. Hopefully, we can get it. Come on, jetpack. Yay. Now put it in first person. <laughs> ah, okay. Take two. Looks like we got a player fighting over there. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just NPCs. Well, now we're making our way downtown. Getting through here, not even tripping any contraband, and making our escape. I could have had that done way earlier, way earlier, and I did not. <laughs> yes, put on the jetpack. Yes, that's, that's what I remember to do this time. All right, well, thank you very much for playing, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It does help me out. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe or not. If you don't like my content, just go and look at something else on YouTube, and I hope you have a good time there, wherever you go. And oh no, I did forget the fuel. I just, I basically jetpack into the darkness of space into my oblivion. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will be streaming more often. Uh, hopefully not just weekly, but we'll see how what the future holds. 
Anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay awesome, and remember, good luck escaping.